Hello everyone on uh, this uh, Wednesday evening here in Denmark and uh, there is a lot of things going on this uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, today it is uh, the day, the 4th of May is uh, the day where the German capitulated in Denmark uh, in 1954 and we was uh, again a free country. And uh, because of all this, uh, we are thinking a lot of the people in Ukraine at this moment. And uh, we have the tradition here that every year we are putting lights in the windows here in the in the evening uh, in memory of uh, what happens. There is also many things about Star Wars happening this evening. So we have a lot to talk about. Do you remember the first uh, PC you had got? Uh, the personal computer has a long uh, story. And uh, on this channel, in the future, we will try to uh, help uh, people uh, learning more about uh, new tech by keeping it simple. So we have to uh, look a little back to see what happened uh, back in time. And um, when I look back uh, on myself, uh, my first uh, personal computer was in 1900. Uh, 94 and I was 31 years old at uh, that point. So it is a lot of years ago and uh, is it uh, the time is running very fast and it uh, does uh, feel like many things has happened in a very short period of time. And by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Ayla and I, I and I, I am here uh, to teach you about tech by keeping it simple. And uh, one more time, if you uh, are here, you can uh, comment uh, in the chat uh, and uh, tell me if you are, uh, you know, when you get your first uh, PC, when was it, and can you remember how it looks like? This little guy is uh, the first computer I ever saw. It is a ZX81, and uh, it came out in the world, uh, and uh, here in Denmark it was in 82. And that is uh, my first uh, computer I, I have seen and used. I have never owned something like this, uh, but I have tried to use it. It was uh, followed, uh, followed up uh, <laughs> the year after uh, by a big brother uh, called the ZX Spectrum, and uh, that was a little upgrade, and it was uh, with real uh, keys, and not only a, to uh, a kind of a, a touchpad on, on this system. Um, Commodore uh, has a big uh, story, and uh, many computers uh, in the line. I got the, the one uh, that was called uh, Commodore VIC-20, um, with a tape uh, station like you see it on the picture here. And it is a little funny uh, and uh, nice to see it again because this is many years ago and uh, no, it isn't uh, because the time was, uh, is running very fast, I think. So uh, this is uh, um, a, a little strange feeling because you feel it is a long time ago, but um, it is not so long time ago. Oh, with that blue screen, we remember this from uh, Windows, so uh, we have to carry on here very fast, uh, so we are not uh, hanging out with the blue screen. But uh, we are here, uh, we have a picture of uh, a, a real PC, it is uh, a 486, and that is uh, the first uh, computer I bought uh, in 1995. So it is uh, very long time ago and uh, many things has, has happened. The same year in um, in November, I got my first uh, internet connection and this was with some of these uh, guys here and uh, this is not uh, worth for many things today, but uh, I think everybody can remember what this is. And today it is uh, looking more or less like this, so it is a big leap uh, uh, until the next uh, step here. But this is uh, what I am looking at uh, at the moment. 
So there is many people uh, who has uh, seen something like this, and uh, that is uh, this is what uh, make uh, this stream possible. You are looking at now. That was a little uh, uh, running through uh, all of uh, the tech uh, during the time the last thirty years, and uh, we will try to uh, show you more about software and tech and uh, learn you um, a little more up to date. Uh, what all uh, this uh, are able to do? There is very much you can do with all these things, but I think uh, you know this. And now you can think a little uh, about uh, if you are a PC user or a, a, an Apple user. This is two different systems, and um, we will talk about this in one of uh, the following streams we are coming to uh, in uh, the coming months. This is the stream for today. Uh, I don't have so much more here. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you have uh, been enjoying a little about all this, uh, so you can uh, remember and uh, you have seen what the things have been like in uh, in the past. That is all for today. Uh, for the uh, viewers here, thank you for watching and I will be back uh, another good time. Here we will listen to also one more time. This <laughs> melody is very good, I think. Uh, have a nice day and see you next time.